Kia ora. In this short video, we're going to look at how to really quickly add album art to music brands. Now, there's another video on how to do this manually, but let's just cover it really quickly. We've got two releases here, digital media and cassette, neither with artwork. And for this example, let's go into the digital media release. We can see here, no cover art. I'm going to click on that. And here we can uh, click on add cover art. So this is uh, how you would usually do it. And this is quite convenient. We've got a link here to Bandcamp, which is uh, the source for this release. So directly from the source is the best place to get this from. And to manually add this, I would uh, save image as, save it to the desktop, and then I would select it or drag and drop. Not too arduous, but this is a much quicker way of doing it. So what we're going to do, so I'm going to open up a new tab and then I'm going to search for music brains user scripts, which as you can see, I've done a little quite a bit lately. And this is the result that I want. Uh, the music brains wiki, and it's guide slash user scripts. Now this is a really convenient page, um, just uh, maintained and updated by the community with links to all the useful scripts for music brains. Now this to run the script, you need to already have a user script manager installed. You can probably figure it out just from this page, but otherwise there's another video how to install a user script manager for music brands. Search for that. So I've already got it installed. So we can skip to just finding and installing the user script that's going to let me add up. Uh, and on the right here, we've got the contents. And here we've got uh, a section seven user scripts cover art and here we go this is what I want enhanced cover art uploads uh, by Rob DB. and I really love this script so this is a one of the must-haves for me okay here we go music brains this is where it runs music brains and a tisket which I am perfectly happy with I'm going to click reinstall because I have installed this in the past um, so now we've installed that and close this. And we're going to go back to the release page. I'm going to refresh. Uh, I'm going to, or I'm going to reload this cover art tab here. It's going to look just slightly different. Here we go. So this import from Bandcamp button, that's appeared uh, because of the enhanced cover art uploads up here that you can turn on and off. So now we can just click on import from Bandcamp. Now this is going to work for iTunes, um, Spotify, Deezer, Quova, so many links, as long as it's in external links down here, as long as it's been linked. Um, so this has been linked to Bandcamp, so we have that button available. And now it's going to ask me if I want to allow it to access a cross-origin resource. What that's saying, is I pressed a button on Music Brains, and now the user script wants to read from Bandcamp. And I'm fine with that, and I'm familiar with this, so I'm going to always allow all domains. Let's just do that again. I was too slow. OK. <laughs> Timed out. And now it's just going to search that release for all the cover up. Perfect. Now it's just found the cover. Now, what's amazing about this script is it automatically upsizes to the biggest cover it can find. So the image you see on Bandcamp here, that's not necessarily the biggest one. There might be an even bigger one hiding out. So not only does the script make it faster to add the images, it's also going to add the best possible images. So I really highly recommend this one. Um, again, like with a lot of user scripts, it preloads the edit note with really all you need to know, which is the source. And then here we can see it's maximized to this image and then the user script and the version that's been used. I can't really improve on that. I'm going to click on enter edit. Just enjoy some elevator music while this, uh, while this uploads. Perfect. So it's not available yet, but in a few minutes, it's going to pop up on the right here. And in the release group, I'm just clicking through to the release group, it's going to use that, that cover art. So um, 
that's we're kind of done. We're done for this release. But I wanted to show you how cool this is. I'm going to go to the cassette, this cassette release, which I know has a Discogs link because I added that earlier. I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to go to Cover Art. And look, we've got an import from Discogs button. Now, if you have a release with a 50-page 50 uh, 50 booklet and all those images are in Discogs, um, unfortunately, Discogs has crap quality images, as we all know, but let's say you can't find anything better. You just click the Import from Discogs button and it would import all those images um, from some sources, uh, VGM, DB, the video game music database, or even tag them with the type. You know, so here we're going to do front and medium. Um, I actually don't think this image is high quality enough, so I'm not going to add it at all. But this is just to demonstrate. It's going to add it from Discogs and a whole bunch of other sources as well. Love this user script. Highly recommended.